recruiting is fickle. Sometimes you feel like Superman sitting at number one overall with four number one players at their position committed. And in a moment, it can feel like it's all falling apart. In recruiting, though, the reality is usually somewhere in the middle, right? No team is Superman and incapable of taking a decommitment gut punch. And when a recruit does decommit, the sky really isn't falling. See, LSU, they lost a commitment from five-star wide receiver to Corian Moore last Thursday. I got Shea Dixon from the Bengal Tiger on this video to break down why he decommitted and where the Tigers turn next to fill a spot at wide receiver. But first, hit subscribe to the greatest recruiting channel on YouTube. All right, let's bring on Shea Dixon from the Bengal Tiger. Shea. Why did wide receiver DeCorian Moore decommit from his quote-unquote dream school? I think this is one thing that a lot of LSU fans who are being reasonable, reasonable about it thought could happen at some point because he was saying, I'm locked in, all of these things, but let's go back to when he committed in August. It was a shock, right? Uh, Texas was considered the team to beat. And a few days after Colin Simmons and Caden Durham split between LSU and Texas, DeCorey Moore announces he picks LSU. You talk about gun, gut punches. It is one. He's the best yeah. receiver in this class, without a doubt. That's why he's ranked number one. But the other side of the coin here is LSU never struggles at receiver. That's one position. They will always churn guys out, including two first-round picks this year. Then you look forward into this class. They've been on a lot of guys beyond DeCorey and Moore and have Teron Francis, the number one receiver in Louisiana, already committed. So for Moore, I think it came down to just, hey, he took a wave of visits recently, Texas, Ohio State. Again, even though he was saying he was fully committed, he dropped like a new top four. We saw this coming for LSU fans. I think that the good news, the silver lining is this happens now and not what the night before signing day. Yeah, no, I agree with that. And then the obvious question, because I've been reading the message boards on the Bengal Tiger, and here it comes. Is there any reason to be concerned that Bryce Underwood, the five-star quarterback, the number one quarterback in America, could be looking around? Or do you feel that he is still locked in with his commitment to LSU? I feel no different uh, about his commitment and the strength of it being uh, locked in uh, and not wavering. And they're not really the same. I say it all the time. Uh, watch what they do, not what they say. Uh, DeCorey and Moore saying he was 100% locked into LSU, yeah. but again, was dropping a top four teams when he was committed, was visiting Ohio State and Texas multiple times. Bryce Underwood committed in January, never visited another school since, has been back to LSU for both their major weekends in terms of recruiting, was at the spring game, and has not said anything about taking visits elsewhere beyond that he won't do it and that he's locked in on LSU. So I consider this to be very, very different ends of the spectrum. Uh, this has nothing to do with Bryce Underwood, who is firmly locked in on LSU. Okay. I agree with you. That makes me feel a lot better about Bryce Underwood. As you know, Shay, and so does all the fans on the Bengal Tiger know, I was the first to put the prediction in for LSU to land Bryce Underwood. Based on what you're saying, what I'm hearing behind the scenes, I feel great about my pick for Bryce Underwood and LSU still. Uh, now let's move on. We're going to talk a little bit more about the wide receiver position now that we know Bryce Underwood is locked in. Uh, does the board change that much now that DeCorian Moore is gone? Because we know that LSU is still recruiting other wide receivers. It's not like you sign one or two wide receivers in a class. Here, we'll look at some of the top targets. You got Kalik Lockett, Jamie French, CJ Wiley, Derek Meadows. Shay, kind of talk me through this list. Who do we feel best about and who do we feel like LSU has work to do with? Yeah, look, these are four guys in, that have been really consistently recruited by LSU. Derek Meadows is a guy that has kind of popped up late setting a visit uh, when he's already had a number of others planned. But those are four big names, right, that they have been recruiting, that they uh, will have on official visits. And guys like Wiley, who's an LSU legacy, Lockett, who's out of East Texas, and then Jamie French, a one-time Bama commit, uh, all have all visited campus multiple times. So uh, they're in deep into those recruitments, and that's why they got these official visits. But you hit the nail on the head, Josh. They were not turning around and saying, okay, without DeCorey and Moore, let's build a receiver board. They'll still push for DeCorey and Moore. I won't be shocked if DeCorey and Moore makes an official visit to LSU at some point down the line. But when we turn the focus to, okay, who else is still out there beyond more? Those are the four guys I would look at. 
I think just because of location and really connections, guys like Lockett coming out of East Texas and then Wiley, who's an LSU legacy, are two that I would put up there as having a very good shot with. Jamie French has been committed to Bama. He's named a couple different leaders at different times, but Mm -hmm. one consistent thing has been LSU's been in that top group. And then Meadows being a West Coast, she doesn't land a ton of them, uh, but really talented coming out of Gorman. Uh, we'll see how uh, how they go with him. So I would first just think that Kalik Lockett, C.J. Wiley, Jamie French, those ones I'm really watching, and, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Mm. All right, very level-headed approach. We appreciate that, Shay. Now, LSU fans, talk to me. How do we bounce back from losing to Corey and Moore? Let me know. Comment section below. Is it going to be Kalik Lockett, Jamie French, C.J. Wiley, Derek Meadows? Who do you think LSU rebounds with and signs at wide receiver? Comment section below. Well, you've made it to the end of today's video, but there's hundreds more videos on the On3 Recruits channel for you to check out. And also, while you're here, hit subscribe.